nice to have you here. Glad you could make it. And uh, we're going to show you a little bit about Day Spring Village. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get started in here. Let me scoot around behind you. And grab the uh, grab the door. We'll pull that pull that closed. Try to keep that closed as much as you can. Okay, this is uh, our client management office. This is, of course, my office in here. This is where I do most of my work, in case you ever want to come see me. But this is our client management office. This is really where the important work of the facility happens. So here we have a team of client management specialists. Their primary job is to collect and identify client information. And that's information that might indicate a change in your condition, uh, changes in symptoms, a request to see a case manager, a request to see a doctor, or simply following up on medications and other kinds of medical needs. So one of the things that happens here is our client management team will essentially provide documentation to four mental health case managers that are assigned exclusively to Day Spring Village. We have a primary care provider who comes here each week. We have a psychiatrist who comes here at least once a month. We also have two licensed mental health counselors who come here to provide on-site mental health therapy. There's also an on-site group, psychosocial group, that is conducted here in addition to other programs and services. So we'd like to kind of show you a little bit about why this is all important. Most of our, the, most of our client management team utilize the computers and utilize all the systems that we have here to convey this information electronically to the case managers, to myself, and to the other people in, that are important or, or, or play a role in your care. So one of the things that we try to do is make sure that we get accurate information in a timely way to those clinical providers so changes in your medication or changes in your plan of care can be made, can be made in the appropriate way. One of the things that we do that a lot of places don't do is we will check your uh, oxygen saturation and this is a little device that is uh, will help you check your oxygen saturation level and will actually measure uh, where your O2 level is and why is that important for people with schizophrenia uh, oftentimes they have uh, they smoke they smoke on a regular basis and of course people who live at Day Spring Village are no different and so it's important that your oxygen saturation be remain above 90 percent and so one of the things that the staff here at Day Spring Village will do will track that among other things such as your blood sugar your blood pressure they'll also check to make sure that you, you, you don't have any other kinds of physical issues that you know, need to be addressed and that's one of the things that will happen here. We have two resident care coordinators, uh, we have a client management team and our resident care coordinator works with the case management team and all the ancillary service providers that really make our system of care really work well. So let's get on and go, go have a look at where the, the real work happens and that's back here in the back of our facility. This is the uh, personal care room, and uh, this is uh, where we will conduct haircuts and shaves and grooming, and we will make sure that people uh, receive personal care services from 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. There is this, this facility here that you see here right now. We also have a second facility at the Max Adkins Center down on the north end of our property, and we have uh, staff that are assigned to both areas to make sure that your personal care needs are met. We also have a brand new showering facility which is a new addition to Day Spring Village and we're very excited to have that because it allows us to provide direct supervision of your personal care and that, that again is a service that is documented as part of our monthly rate, is documented by, uh, the, by the staff and they record that each and every day. So what happens is in the morning time our client management team or handling medication will identify the fact that there's some need or for assistance with personal care and then the second shift team comes at 2 o'clock and that's when the, the service will be provided. So let's go on to the back and we'll have a look around. 